Hey there, everybody. So today I am going to do a quick review of a V-Series Vizio 65-inch 4K TV. This is the home screen of the TV. Uh, but first, I'm going to go ahead and kind of give you an overview of the box here. I purchased this TV from Sam's Club yesterday for $499. It was on sale. It was $90 off. Uh, the sale has been going on for quite a while, and they had tons of these things. Uh, it's like most smart TVs nowadays. They come with a list of apps. It's also uh, capable of working with smart home devices like Google Assistant, and it also works with Alexa. Um, but overall, this is a 65-inch TV. It is very, very thin, as is most everything nowadays. But I, I was fairly impressed with how thin this was. Uh, my other television is a Samsung MU6500 curved TV. It's a 55-inch. Um, but uh, overall, the packaging was really nice. Everything came apart really easily. The TV actually sits in this right here. And once you break the straps loose, this picks up off of the TV and you are left with the TV in this little styrofoam stand. So you don't have to actually lift it up out of that box and fight with moving that styrofoam and sliding it across. It was actually very easy to take apart. So first things first, uh, this TV setup was very easy. Uh, it's got a great picture so far. I also like the functionality with the smart home device. For instance, I'll show you right now. Um, Alexa, launch Netflix on living room TV. As you Getting Netflix from Vizio Smartcast. And there we go, it opens up Netflix, just like that. Uh, this is the remote. The remote is not as nice as a Samsung remote. I don't know if on the higher tier Vizio models if they offer a radio remote. A radio remote does not actually have to be pointed at the TV. This one does, this remote is infrared, just like most remotes we grew up with, but uh, everything is slowly making the change to radio. Uh, it's somewhat tough feeling. Um, you know, it's, it appears to be fairly good quality so far, but for $500, um, so far, this TV has been great. We're going to be hanging it up on the wall. Um, and I did not want to do with that, that with my older TV. I was also very impressed with the stand. Um, you know, everything's going to these stands that are far apart from each other, but these do not, they really don't feel plastic. They, they feel like they're uh, some sort of cast metal. Uh, maybe it might even be cast aluminum, really. Um, but uh, it was very sturdy and they're very sturdy going in. They have two screws on each one to secure it. Uh, my Samsung Curve television has a center mount stand that is almost as wide as the entire TV and it is nowhere near as sturdy as this one. Um, however, they will be coming off for the wall mount. Uh, this TV features three HDMI ports here on the back. And also, uh, an AV port and it looks like Ethernet too if you also want to uh, run a hard line. This is a V65G9, but overall I would recommend buying this if you want a TV for a decent price. You don't want to spend $1,000, but you definitely want the size. Uh, really anything you buy nowadays, no matter what, is behind. Your light years away from having the best of the best. Uh, so if you don't care about that kind of thing, then this is definitely a good buy for you.